As the poet Sean Carter said, I got no patience and I hate waiting. You aren't alone, Jay. Luckily, science had the answer as to why. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching D News today. I am Trace. The holidays are upon us, which means waiting. Lots and lots and lots of waiting. Waiting in lines is agonizing. You get in line, and then the other one moves faster than you, and you switch lines, and then after two minutes, you're freaking out because the first line is moving faster, and you just, yeah! Waiting in line is the worst. Humans hate waiting in line. Surveys done consistently find that humans will estimate that they waited in line 36% longer than they really did. Why? Humans are self-obsessed. And why shouldn't we be? I'm awesome. But of course, all this self-obsession doesn't translate well to efficiency at a cash register. A paper called The Psychology of Waiting in Lines says we hate standing in queues because we see it as time wasted, which could otherwise be productive time. To solve this, businesses toss psychological tricks into the queuing area. Think mirrors by elevators, long walks from arrival gates to baggage claims at airports, televisions that are in line at theme parks, candy, gum, magazines or batteries at grocery stores. These things make you feel like the time waiting online is being used and you no longer overestimate that wait. The science behind all this is a relationship between queuing theory, the illusory correlation, and the just world fallacy. The just world fallacy says that psychologically humans tend to believe that the world is a fair, orderly, predictable place where people get what they deserve. So when you jump in a line and then one next to you starts to move faster, you freak out because we don't want to believe that we deserve to be in the slow line. Why me God? Why? So because of the illusory correlation, we act without thinking and we switch lines. This second theory is when humans create a correlation in their minds when it doesn't exist. Think like a stereotype or a pattern which we believe exists it doesn't. So why then does the first line instantly seem to speed up once we left it? Why did I leave that line? It doesn't actually speed up. It just looks like it does. We don't want to do that mental math concerning the number of parcels people have, the payment methods being used, cashier speeds, price tag placement, and so on and so forth. Instead, we just assume because that one is moving faster at this moment, it's gonna keep doing so. And then we switch back to the first line, which is actually so stupid. What are we doing this? Ugh. There are other times when one line is moving faster, but the chances of you doing all the math to catch on to which line is actually best is slim because it's so much easier to just assume and trick yourself into thinking you know what's up. What if though, I told you an engineer from early 20th century Denmark solved all of these line waiting woes? like a hundred years ago. But we humans are so dumb about lines, we almost never use the simple solution. Yeah, it happened. Which is better, a line for every cashier or one long line that feeds all of the cashiers in the front? If you said the long line, you are correct. Some of you are probably having anxiety just thinking about that one long line snaking back and forth, but it's actually more efficient. In the early 1900s, the Copenhagen Telephone Exchange wanted to use the fewest number of lines to route in and out of a community. One long distance telephone line for the town wasn't enough. It would be busy all the time. But a line for every house, that would be wasteful. Not everybody's calling long distance all the time. To solve the problem, an engineer created an algorithm to figure out the average time per call, the average number of calls per hour, with that, the minimum number of lines needed to connect 99% of those calls right away. It was seven lines for the whole town. Not too many. This is exactly the same as waiting in line at the cash register. It's better. Just make a single line. It's more efficient. Where is the best and or worst place that you have ever waited in line? How do you feel about that single long line? Happy holidays, everybody. While you are in line, go ahead and tweet at us. Watch D News or tell the other people how they are too self-obsessed to do this line math properly. That should entertain you enough during your wait. Thanks a lot for watching. Go ahead and down into the comments, let us know what you think, and subscribe for more D News.